This is in fact uh, my first uh, exposure because I joined in March of this year and uh, in fact I insisted on coming here because you get a lot of takeaways. You meet fellow regulators, that is the most important thing. You come to know what is happening in the other countries because you know issues as far as telecommunications are there, the basic issues are common but the individual conditions in each country is so different and you learn out of those differences like for example spectrum management, the auctions which they hold, which are the ones, uh, bands which need to be released, broadcasting issues, content issues, you know there are so many issues which uh, in fact uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, takeaways and knowledge which you gain by getting the experience of other regulators. Apart from that of course you also meet the industry uh, people, you meet other you know stakeholders and that uh, in fact opens up your uh, you know, horizon to a large extent. Like yesterday we met uh, some people from the industry and uh, we really saw how committed they were to issues in telecom. Uh, we have a lot of challenges. <laughs> See, uh, the Telecom Regulator Authority of India looks after telecommunications as well as the broadcasting. And um, the telecom issues, of course, basically we have, uh, we have gone through two auctions and uh, they have not been uh, sort of picked up, the spectrum has not been picked up very enthusiastically by the telecom service providers. So we are in the middle of uh, trying to get to expect that a third auction will be more successful. And that is one major issue which you are already having. In addition, of course, we have a lot of issues on the side of the broadcasting media. We have cross-media ownerships, which is one uh, you know, major issue for us. So I think uh, we have a full plate. See, uh, what really struck me important, at least my takeaway is that I found that there is a lot of digital divide in other countries too. While uh, there is a there is a very high density telecommunication in some places, but uh, there are people uh, marginalized, there are women, there are uh, you know, disabled people. I think that kind of a thing, which is uh, they don't have the full benefit of the digital dividend, and I think that is one issue which uh, I'll be carrying from here.